Hi everyone, my name is Greta and welcome to my video and welcome to my YouTube channel. So on this video, I wanted to talk about the five things that happened in 2019 and the five things that I intend on creating in the new coming year, 2020. Um, this is my first ever video, so please be nice. I know the lighting is not the best. It's so dark outside right now and I am using whatever lighting that I have. So please be nice in the comments below. Um, on that note, the first thing from 2019 is that I took my first big solo trip and I went all the way to Bali. I was there for a month and it was a wonderful experience. It, you know, I had some days where it was not the best. I was alone, didn't know anyone. But let me tell you, you take a trip like that and it will leave you, like you come back and you think you can just take on anything you really do it's um i have like no issues going to places alone um i just feel so much more comfortable number two is that i became a yoga teacher this year um which is one of the reasons i went to bali i did my yoga certification there number three is that i went through a breakup this year um after two and a half three year relationship I went through a very heartbreaking time in my life um, and I went through the grieving process and the hurting and the crying and of course there's still periods of time right now that I still sometimes cry but it's um, a realization that I just was not meant to be with that person and it was not a bad breakup. I still think he's an amazing person. He is a wonderful person and I wish him all the best. and yeah it's just you live and you learn <laughs> um number four would be that i started working with a coach this year um a fitness coach to really help me reach my goals um fitness has always been a really big part of my life and i've just been having some issues really getting out there and really reaching you know whatever i want to reach and i realized i needed help and an outside perspective and that's exactly what she's doing and i already feel so much better and number five is that I started a meal prep company this year. I started a company called Sweet Fit and it is a local company in Boston. I do all the cooking. I, um, I do, you know, I weigh out all the food, calculate out all the macros. I do the delivering. I run the Instagram. I take all the pictures. It is a one man show but it is going and I have fun with it. I'm my own boss. I have full control over it and that's what I love about it. Um, so 2020, the intentions that I have, one would be that I want to start my own coaching business. I want to become a health and wellness coach and I'm looking towards the certifications for that. Um, I have so many ideas already on what I want to do and how I want to create it. Um, it's just a matter of like really pushing myself and really, you know, I already kind of started up on that. Number two is that I want to finally get my personal training certification. Um, I already have all the material on that, just got to get studying on it. Number three, I want to get some form of a nutrition certification. I really want to learn more about it. Um, holistic nutrition, plant-based nutrition, any, literally anything. I, it's something I'm so passionate about and I'm so interested in and I'm just trying to find a program right now that I find fits what I'm looking for. And if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Um, number four would be that I finally want to move out. Um, I still live at home. I am financially independent in every other aspect. I pay for my own stuff, but I do really want to move out. I want to gain like full independence. And that is something I'm really striving for in the new year. And then number five is to finally create more YouTube videos create more content because I have so many ideas and I really look forward to sharing them with you guys. And if you have anything you want to see, um, I'm still looking forward to creating, you know, workouts, yoga based videos, clothing videos, cooking videos, baking videos, anything in between. I absolutely love all those stuff. So I have so many interests and I look forward to sharing them all with you. My camera is about to die. Um, I think I spoke really fast and I'm sorry about that, but I really look forward to creating more content and let me know what you guys have set for this coming year, what your intentions, goals, New Year's resolutions, whatever you call them. 
let me know in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.